Hey everyone, this is Paul from Intro to DJing, and today I'm gonna to talk about multi-tags here in Virtual DJ. Talk about what they are first, and then how you can implement this in Virtual DJ. Now, sometimes if you're like me, you'll find yourself wanting to sort your music through more than just the genre. So if I have a track, and I may not know how to classify it, maybe it's a 90s hip hop track, and I want it to show up when I search for 90s music, but I also want it to show up when I search for hip hop songs. And then other times I wanna be able to go through my music and look for all the songs that are 90s hip hop tracks. How are we gonna do this? Well, this is what multi-tags allow you to do. You can basically tag each song with multiple different tags or attributes and then search through your music and basically filter for all the songs that have all of the tags or some of the tags that you're looking for to really help you quickly find music that you're looking for. So what I've done here in Virtual DJ to set this up is I've added all this information here into the grouping field. So to show this, we're going to right click on the header in the browser and click on grouping. This is going to show the grouping field. I used to use user one, but what I found is, is this grouping is shared across Serato and other programs as well. So it's better for me to use grouping. So it's all consistent. So I'd recommend using grouping. Um, by default, this is just a blank text field in the ID three of any MP3. So just use grouping in my, in my opinion, you can use another one if you want to like the comment, but I tend to use the comment for other things that are helpful for me, like mixing techniques and strategies. So, yeah, that's, that's one way to do it. And what I've done here in this grouping field is I have these tags that I've created that basically represent something that's interesting about the song. So this is saying it's a track that came out in the 2010s. This is a decade. Then I have kind of genres, hip hop or rap, twerk songs, and then something about popularity. And then I have other songs or other tags that I add to songs that are things like when to play it, like starting out early in the mix, later in the night, or is this a banger, a peak time type of track, something like this. And by setting it up this way, you can basically search through your music like so. So to set these tags, suppose I have a new track that I've imported. So here's a new track that um, I've been working on a mix for a buddy of mine. And this is what it sounds like. So what I'm gonna do is right click and open up the tag editor. And under the grouping field, I wanna add in all the tags that are relevant to this particular song. So this is a song that's coming out in the 20s, the decade, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna say it's a hip hop rap song and an R&B track because it kind of has this sort of, it's a little laid back. And because it's a little laid back, what I'm going to do is also say STR for a starting track. This is something early in the night or LTE for late in the night. This isn't really a peak time type of track. Um, I wouldn't put a tag that says to like this is an EDM track or anything like this. Once again, these are all relevant to this particular track. And once you like it, you can click right tag and click OK. And sure enough, it's going to pop up here under the grouping. Now, to be able to search for these tags when you're searching through your music and granted, it will take a long time to tag all of your music, but I really think it's worth it to do this or at least do enough of your music that it's you know worth it to you so that, that, that you're not like that the tags are actually useful is we're gonna click under the search header options here, and we're going to go ahead and be sure we're including grouping here in my search results. Otherwise, if I type in 90s, it's not gonna show up. Instead, what I'm gonna do is add grouping, and now what I do if I type in 90s, I see all of my tracks that came out in the 90s. So using my example as before, if I wanna find 90s tracks, I use my 90s tag, and if I wanna find hip hop tracks, I type in my hip hop ta tag. But notice here we're seeing hip hop tracks from the 2000s and 2010s. So what I wanna do is be able to filter multiple tags and sure enough by basically typing in the two tags with the space in between them and it's important you use the space delineator in the grouping so that it is able to find this these sets of characters independently. Sure enough by doing it this way I'm finding all of my hip hop tracks from the 90s. Um, similarly I can find all of my 70s tracks and my disco tracks. Noticing that some disco tracks are actually from the 80s or even there's even new disco now, which is you know the 20s or the 10s, things like that. So it can be really helpful to use these multiple tags. So once again, find a system that works for you and use this to filter through your music. If I wanna find starting tracks in an R&B feel, I can do this. And I, basically what I'm doing is I'm filtering through my music or filtering through my library in a way that helps me pick songs on the fly. 
Another thing that's really helpful and I would recommend tagging your music are attributes that help with your mixing. So if I wanna find slam edits, which can be really helpful for changing BPMs very quickly, I can tag any of these slam ins or any of these samples that would basically allow me to play the song at any point. I can do that with a slam tag. Similarly, I may wanna tag when a track ends, just I can let it play out and don't have to worry about an outro or something like that. That's another thing that can help as well. Um, another one could be like acapella type edits that can be helpful as well. So once again, use these tags that are helpful to you. Find a system that works for you. That way you can filter through your music and think on your feet a little better. So hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video.